I asked atheist Matt Dillahunty, however you say his name, I'm not going to get hung up with pronunciation if I'm pronunciating it wrong. I asked him to debate me, and that would, or at least could have, been cool. But he wanted a stipend, and I thought, hey, who is he? Even atheist debater Dan Barker will debate for free. And Dan Barker is way bigger in atheist circles than him. So why would he have the audacity to demand a stipend? Well, I'm not rich like Richard Dawkins, so I couldn't offer him a stipend. And then I tried to suggest we could have a campus group at UT, University of Texas, Austin, host our debate, but he didn't go for it. He didn't go for it. He didn't want to debate me. Maybe we could even have an entirely singing debate. We could debate the points of atheism. He did suggest I could come on his show instead of having a formal debate. But hey, of course, that would be his home court advantage. And who knows, he might just pull the cord to my microphone when I question his atheist dogma. Yes, he could certainly do that. He has the control. That's why he wants me to call into his show. But guess what? I don't watch shows. If he had his program as solely a podcast, then I could even think of it. But no, I'm not going to even think of it anyways because I don't want an atheist to shut me off when I'm questioning their sacred cows. Of course, they like to think they have no sacred cows. They are perfectly exempt, but they're not, 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 not. So maybe someday an atheist will debate me. Stipend or no stipend. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Hey, we could charge. Hey, I want money. I don't know about you. I want money. But hey, we could charge or we could not charge. We could ponder and think.